Remember how long you've been putting this off, how many extensions the gods gave you and you didn't use them. Recognize what world it is that you belong to and from what source you spring, that there's a limit to the time assigned you. If you don't use it to free yourself, it will be gone and will never return. Marcus Aurelius. As I get older, I recognize how much time I've really wasted. I spent time with friends who are no longer my friends. I've watched the news, hanging on for updates on events that came and went, things I don't even think about anymore. I played video games that led to nothing and watched entertainment that added nothing to my life. There's a limit to the time that's been assigned to us. What will we do with it? What is a good use of your time? You can spend your time on something that'll bring you returns in the future. For example, working on a business, improving your health, doing something meaningful. But even if you spend your entire life building an empire, eventually that will also crumble. Maybe not in your lifetime, but eventually it will turn to dust. Think of Alexander the Great and all he conquered. Or maybe we have someone like John D. Rockefeller. He spent his entire life building Standard Oil. It was his mission, and it's the dynasty that still exists today. It's very adaptable to changes in the world and may very well exist for centuries to come. But what difference does it make to him? He's dead. He's dust. It was his mission, and he built it. What happened afterwards is unimportant and firmly in the realm of things that are outside of our control. The Stoics would call this an indifferent. And so if building a legacy doesn't matter, where do we spend our time? I would say in things that bring fulfillment to your soul, in our mission, working towards Father Plan. We need to have money. It's an important part of operating in this world, but it's not something to be obsessed with getting. The ideal is to be intensely active and at the same time have no selfish motives, no thoughts of personal gain or loss. Duty uncontaminated by desire leads to inner peacefulness and increased effectiveness, as the Bhagavad Gita says. Follow the path you're meant to and do the work with no expectation. But even if you do have expectations, work diligently anyway. It's better to do something good for the wrong reasons than to not do anything until you're fully clear of expectations and selfish motives. And always keep in mind, you could leave life right now. Let that determine what you do and say and think.